Are you struggling to build your MLM business part-time? Hey, this is Angela Carter with Recruit dot earn money with Angela dot com and if you're watching this video you're looking for some MLM success tips that can show you how to build a successful MLM business in your part-time well all this week I have been doing a free MLM training series uh, called part-time profits how to build a successful MLM business part-time yesterday I covered a really simple easy three step formula to turn your part-time hours into dollars and this video today it's kind of a continuation of it so let me in case you missed yesterday's video just let me give you a short recap of that three-step formula well this is the formula for calculating the exact dollars per hour that you need to generate every single day in your business to be able to hit your monthly income goal that you want to hit in your business so here's the three steps the three steps number one step one is to write down your monthly income goal how much money do you want to make each month in your business Second step is to then write out um, how many hours each day are you spending in your business and then multiply that by 30 days for 30 days in a month. And that will give you the total number of productive hours that you're going to spend in your business each month. Step three is to then take your monthly income goal and divide it by the total number of productive hours that you're going to work your business each week. And that will give you each month, I'm sorry, and that will give you your dollars per hour monthly hour I mean, so your hourly goal for your business okay so now that you have your hourly goal let's say that it's twenty five dollars an hour now we move into today's training video it's like okay how do I hit that monthly or hit that hourly goal for my business well the key to hitting that hourly goal that you calculate it is you want to do income producing activities in your business the activities that are going to actually help you generate that hourly income goal that you have calculated so what are those activities that may be the question that you're asking well the activities income producing activities are activities that directly relate into are directly responsible for a direct uh, sales so maybe a customer sale a sale of your product or a new recruit into your business where you get like a fast start bonus a lot of network marketing companies have that fast start bonus right so the income producing activities are activities where you can get a direct sale or direct recruit where it will it will translate into money for you okay so what are those activities marketing that's where you get your business or your products in front of people who are most likely to buy buy your products or most likely to join your business marketing that is an income producing activity second is generating leads so being able to get your business out there in front of people and then collecting information of those who have expressed an interest in your products or in your business opportunity lead generation is also an income producing activity the third income producing activity is presenting your company's products or business opportunity to those leads because again they may join and may, or they may buy your products after seeing your presentation right so that's the income producing activity and then the fourth income producing activity is following up uh, following up with those leads after you they have been presented with your company's products or your company's business opportunity so those are the four income producing activities and those are the activities that you want to focus on every single day when you sit down and work your business those are the activities that you want to do first because those are the activities that can help you hit your income your hourly income goal now the key is you want to make sure that you do those income producing activities first before you do your non income producing activities activities that don't directly relate into a sale or a new recruit for you and those like one example of a non income producing activity is listening to training okay so make sure that when you work your business every single day that you're doing your income producing activities first and then you do your non income producing activities also when you calculate it, the total number of hours that you want to work your business those are the hours that you do income producing activities those are not the hours that you do training because again we're focusing on income producing activities so you can hit your hourly goal so you can hit your monthly income goal so that is how you work smarter instead of harder that's how you can work less in your business and make more when you get focused on the activities that actually relate and translate into income so if you enjoyed this video and you want to make sure that you stay tuned all this week and get notified of our upcoming videos for our part-time profits MLM success training videos make sure that you go to recruit dot earn money with Angela dot com also on that website you'll learn how to sponsor reps 
all online so that you can begin to leverage your time and have marketing that works for you even while you're working a full-time job. So if you want to learn how to sponsor reps all online to leverage your time, go to recruit.earnmoneywithangela.com. Bye.